In this video, we look at an interesting connection between the circumradius and all the sides of a triangle. Um, there are two really good formulas uh, that you should know to, to, to prove this particular formula or theorem. Uh, the first one is the area of a triangle can be found by multiplying together the three sides, A, B, C, and then dividing by 4 times R, and that big R is what we refer to as a circumradius. The other important formula also finds the area of a triangle, and that is, um, so we're calling the area K, um, that is Heron's formula. And Heron's formula is the semi-perimeter times the semi-perimeter minus A, the semi-perimeter minus B, and the semi-perimeter minus C. And what we're going to do, which is a very common technique uh, when dealing with triangles, is we're going to take these two things that both represent area, and we're going to set them equal. But before we do, what the, the big part of this proof actually has to do with the manipulation of Heron's. And so let's look at Heron's formula. Let's start with S minus A. S, A plus B plus C divided by 2, semi-perimeter, the sum of the three sides divided by 2, A, B, and C representing the three sides, minus A is that term. Well, and you've got a minus A, A is, you know, you could write that as 2A over 2 in order to get the fractions uh, to be added together. And so A plus B plus C minus 2A gives us a, a B plus C minus A because you get A minus 2A and you get that term. And so what we recognize is that we can do that for all of them. If we're subtracting A, then we get a minus A. If we're subtracting B from the semi-perimeter, we get a minus B. If we're subtracting C from the semi-perimeter, we're going to get a minus C. So that allows us to write our formulas like this. ABC over 4R equals semi-perimeter, A plus B plus C over 2, S minus A, B plus C minus A over 2, because of the just calculating that out. Do the same thing with B. This time the B is going to be the one that's negative. A plus C minus B over 2. And then finally, um, the C, A plus B minus C over 2. We have these four 2's in the denominator of these fractions. When we multiply them together, that gives us the square root of 16. The square root of 16 in the denominator is just 4. And so that now leaves us with a this. A plus B plus C times B plus C minus A times A plus C minus B times A plus B minus C all over 4, just simplifying the radical. There's a 4 in both denominators, so those cancel out. And then all you need to do is cross multiply or actually flip, flip those two spots because of cross multiplication. And that gives you R equals A, B, C over... Um, the square root of A plus B plus C times B plus C minus A times A plus C minus B times A plus B minus C. And so that gives us a great way of being able to find the circumradius of a triangle without knowing anything except the side lengths of the triangle.